Well, you know, I hope John Jones recovers. I hope all that goes well. This, to me, is just, uh, I mean, they had a disaster year last year with injuries. And it opened up the fucking year. They just lost three more fucking guys. They just lost Weidman. They lost Anderson Silva off the roster. They lost Nick Diaz. You know, Jacare got hurt. Uh, Yoel Romero got hurt, which, like I told you the other day, in my opinion, was the best fight of the fucking year. And it was the best fight of that fucking card in L.A., to be honest with you. Uh, you know, the, the bad luck continues for the UFC. Uh, right immediately, exactly. last, last night I sat there at one point and I wrote UFC, you know, uh, you know, Karma, whatever the fuck I wrote on Twitter. And I saw a couple fighters retweet it and a couple of MMA people retweet it. And I could just imagine, you know, I'm going to get that call from somebody. But in my world, it's like the UFC was fun. The UFC was fun to watch. There was something about it. And all of a sudden it became something else too quickly. And I think they're moving a little too quick, you know. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm not, I, I have nothing, nothing, nothing against Conor McGregor. But I don't like the, how this whole situation has been handled. To get the truth out there, that's the truth. I'm not going to lie to anybody. I don't like how this situation has been handled. In what way? From A to Z. I just do not like it. I, I see what it is. I see what it is, and it breaks my fucking heart. That's it. That's well, can you can you expand on that a little bit? Though, what, what, what do you mean? Like they, like they, um, you don't like the way he has opened his mouth and gotten opportunities as opposed to other people that used to maybe have to I think this whole thing, to get to the position. He said? I think this whole thing started with Chael Sonnen. I think this whole thing started with Chael Sonnen. I think that. Uh, when he was talking stuff about Anderson Silva uh, and then going a little deeper than what should have been and calling the Noguera brothers' names and stuff like that, I think right there Dana White should have stopped that. It, it became something else to me. And his is a guy that I love and respect, but he was talking too much. He wasn't really covering the spread. He was not covering the fucking spread as, as a UFC fighter. He was talking, he was selling tickets, but it was like a fad diet. And then look what happened. Boom. He fucking tests for PEDs again, you know. And he's gone. And he created this whole fucking bad taste in the mouth. So now you get this fucking bad taste in your mouth. And now you have uh, Conor McGregor, who's a great fighter. He's exciting. He's got Ireland behind him. He fills stadiums. You know what? There's not a person in the fucking world that if I took him in, 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 a, in a room and, and quizzed him, said they wanted to see him against Dennis Siva. <laughs> You've the, been saying that for a while. I, it pissed me off. <laughs> the fight that I wanted to see right then, there was only one fight. He gets the winner of Cub Swanson, Frankie Edgar, and the winner of that fight got Jose Aldo. That's me as a fan. That's me as a fan. That was the right move right there. When they put him up, and okay, Dennis Siva's tough, and he destroyed Dennis Siva in a in a tremendous fashion and all this shit, I, I still have a bad taste in my mouth. And I know Conor McGregor's working hard on his jiu-jitsu. I know that he's doing a tournament in April. And it's like they're buying the kid time. And I get it. I get it. But I look at the gates. And I look at the pay-per-views. And they just raised the price on the pay-per-views. So you're holding out on one thing, even though you're making money. You're making money across the board. But if this kid wins this fight... You're fighting in an arena. So this whole thing has been sold because this kid's fighting in an arena. I don't like the pictures of him drinking out of a fucking coconut. At a, I don't like him talking about how he's not even in the fighter hotel. He's across the street in the Fatita suite. I didn't like that. They're all fighters. What does Frankie Edgar feel like at home when he sees that and hears that? What does GSP feel like? They made millions for the organization. They're walking around the fucking MGM in the morning, and so is fucking Frankie Edgar. You know, this kid's at the Fatrini suite and making the fighters feel bad about it. I saw the interview with Chad Mendes when he told him he was going to have his ball sack on his face. It's just becoming something else. And if for some well, people... too much close to pro wrestling? You know, I don't know. And if for some... Like the storylines, the outcomes. Or... Well, not the storyline. It's not the storyline. There's nothing fake about getting knee to the fucking head and getting body slammed and getting uh, arm barred and shit. 
I just don't like the path they're taking. That was it. That's my whole fight right there. I wanted to see Frankie Edgar against Conor McGregor. That's it. I didn't like when Conor McGregor jumped the fence and went after him. And, this, and Dana's bodyguard was right there waiting for him. You know, and he held him. I just didn't like all this. It's going, it's, a, it's disrespectful all over again. It's what we learned with Chael Sonnen all over again. I'm not saying that this kid's going to get popped for steroids. I'm not saying these things. Again, I'm not saying nothing negative about Conor McGregor. I'm just letting you guys see the situation that I see. 